Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, important things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I am going to slap down the holy water <laughs> to start, and then we are going to be pulling a mystic, sh mystical shaman oracle to be in the reading. So good in the neighborhood passes. All right. Let's get one oracle here before we begin this reading here. One oracle message here for Pisces. Sure. One oracle message for my beautiful Pisces. Oh, yes. And it is a beautiful message. Okay. So we have got the Earth Keeper. So just as you're involved in co-creating your world, you're also responsible for its well-being. The Earth Keeper, the Earth Keepers are dedicated to the stewardship of the Earth and of all life. They choose to hold the sacred dream of the planet where all beings live in peace and where the rivers and the air are clean. Remember that everything you do has an impact for seven generations. You have, that's a lot. Wow, that's like 700 years, right? <clears throat> wow, <sighs> that's pretty deep. So you've outgrown your small dreams of success and achievement and are ready to dream big with possibilities beyond your wildest expectations. So take on the mantle of the Earth Keeper and reach out to a friend in need whom you may have not been in touch with for some time. Take care of your pets and feed the strays that come by. Clean up your yard as this is a reflection of your relationship to Earth. Grow the sacred dream and your personal life will flourish. Remember, it's not about me any longer. So the medicine that comes with this, as you care for your body, you show your care for Mother Earth. So begin with the stewardship of your health. What are you putting into your mouth? Are you feeding onto foods and thoughts that are not good for you? Start doing what you know will be good for you today. Beautiful message. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So, you know what time it is now. Mm -hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all keep cleaning up your yards. Meow. <laughs> so we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be approaching you. Like I always say, it could be your own energy that comes in on the reading. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for those of you that remember about my garnet ring, I mentioned it the other day, but I found my garnet pinky ring. I'm back. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I missed this. It was gone for a little over a month. It was. It was gone about the time I cut somebody out. Who actually, their, uh, yeah, their birthstone would be a garnet. Mm -hmm. Yep, it would be, which is ironic, right? Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? Okay, I'm not doing that. We're not going there. Show me the energy of the person, my beaut. Okay. Good Lord. Death did come out in the pre-shuffle. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. Show me the energy of the person, my beaut. Okay. All right. Oh, boy, Pisces. We've got a rebirth down here on the table, nostalgia, and emotional cleansing. This person here is working on the structure of something here. I don't know what, but we're going to get into it after these messages and a cup of French press. Okay, I'm back. Just joking. I deliver the messages. Okay. So what's this rebirth energy here? Something is rebirth here. What's going on with this rebirthing energy, please? 
Top to bottom, what's going on with this rebirth energy, please? Rebirth, rebirth, rebirth. Okay. Let's go rebirth with a two of pentacles. I'm back. I'm back in the saddle again. I'm back. Let's go. What is the rebirth about? Oh boy. This person is pushing out a mother trucking muffin of pain and indecision. Ooh. Why is this person rebirthing a truckload of indecision and three of swords what is this all over what is this all over what is this all over oh they're like oh, oh this is heavy heavy something ended here and they did not want it to end and the rebirth it's like the heart chakra is open, and this person is carrying a heavy load. But there's a sense of joy that is attached with this heavy load, and this heartbreak, and this indecision. Oh my god, this person is going to need some Pepto-Bismol at the end of the day. <laughs> Say I was a doctor. God, why does she do this? What is this heavy load that it has a little bit of joy attached to it? What is this heavy load? Oh, it's got a little. Somebody's like, <laughs> I really would like for my basic needs to be met. Oh, <laughs> what does this person feel like their basic needs are? What does this energy feel like their basic needs are? Okay, well, they don't know. They don't know. They're trying to figure that out for themselves. And this is painful. Hanging in the hangman position is not something that's fun. It's like a caterpillar, okay, forming a cocoon. It's painful for a caterpillar to transform into a butterfly. So they're like, ah, no, I'm not, I'm not getting my basic needs met here. And I'm starting to change and it's painful. What is this painful change this person's going through? Oh, oh they're having a spiritual wake the truck up moment. Mm-hmm. They are. Wake the truck up. Spirit is here. Mm-hmm. They're like, it is time for you to wake up and line up with the universe. Line your belief system. Restructure your belief system. So this person is in the midst of restructuring their belief system here. So... What's all this nostalgia down on the table about? What's this nostalgia? What's the nostalgia with the world, please? What's this nostalgia with the world? Nostalgia with the world. What is the nostalgia with the world? Ooh. Okay. So this person here has really been thinking about how far they have come up in this world financially. This is all the nostalgia. So this person is thinking about how they built their business here from the ground up here. And they created a good life for themselves. So this person 
they already have a good life for themselves when it comes to their finances here. And they're very nostalgia, nostalgic about how they've created success from nothing here. Okay. So this there's ego on the table. Ego all day long. Ego here. Okay. Which there's nothing wrong with ego. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with ego. We all have egos. We just got to learn to check that before we wreck that. Correct? Yes. Okay. So this person is working on something from scratch here. They're building something here. What has this person been working on? What has this person been working on, please? Mm -mm -mm. Somebody here has been trying to come up with a, a plan here on how to get to the Piscean Peak. Okay? Okay. There you are up there, Pisces, with your six wands. You have victory up there, right? You're good to go. You're up there. You got your mountain. You're good to go. This person is not on your level. So what this is telling me is this person looks up to you here. They have passion here. There's desire. They're trying to figure out how they're going to get up to that mountain. So how does this person fig how does this person plan on getting up to the Piscean Peak? How does this person plan on getting to the Piscean Peak? Well, they plan on going up to the Piscean Peak to get back something that was lost. Okay. So what was this is what they're thinking. So what do they want to get back that was lost? What do they want to get back that was lost? Okay. But, 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 here's the but. But, they're in of eight swords about it. So, with that being said, this person feels like they're not able to move. Okay? They're working on a plan. Are they, eventually, maybe, yeah, this person could literally decide to get out of eight swords. Okay? They want to get out of Eight Swords. I can clearly see that they need help. They're open to getting help to get out of these Eight Swords. So what is this help that they're willing to receive to get out of their head? What is this help that they're willing to receive to get out of their head? Okay. Oh, boy. Help from you. They need help from you to get out of their head. Literally, this card is eight cups. I can't let Pisces go. I keep thinking about Pisces here. I can't let Pisces go. So, they're almost wanting you to help them to come towards you. But that's not your responsibility now, is it? No. No. They have their own free will to do this. You don't want somebody like that, do you? Would you? I mean, some of you might. I get it. But for a good majority, I feel like a lot of you are over that at this point. And I know some of you aren't, okay? And that's fine. If you want to do this, help this person out to get them out of their head to come towards you, that's up to you. But I know for a lot of you, you're going to be like, no, I need somebody who's going to make the boss moves. Yeah. Be the boss, right? Because a lot of you out there are the boss already. Mm-hmm. But they want your help to get them here out of these eight swords. That way they can come back and get what was lost here and see you. Get up to your mountain. Mm, boy. hi yeah, yeah, Pisces. So, this person's got it. There's an emotional cleansing here. They're like, there's all these new feelings that are flooding through this person here. So what's going on with the Knight of Cups? What is it? Oh boy, the Knight of Cups to the Empress. What's the Knight of Cups to the Empress? It's attraction. Yeah. And they've realized how attracted they are to you. Yeah. How all these feelings they have for you here. And it shook their fucking core here. 
Tower. The tower. You've shook this person's soul. You've shook this person's feelings here. Oh my goodness. Boy, would I love, and I do mean love, to do an extended here on this reading. But I don't have enough time. But I will do one card for each sign with the Kitty Boom Booms for Jesse. Pisces, dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Sure. If you're not in a relationship, they want to be in one here. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer. They're feeling left out, but they put themselves in this situation. Scorp. Scorp, sure, Scorp. Scorpio here feels like you're a very well-balanced individual. Aries. Aries. Uh, they're impatient about something. I don't know what. Leo, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo, sure. Okay, there has been a huge change here, okay? Where things could have ended. Sag, Sag, sure. Sag is heartbroken here. Um, let's go Libra, 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 Libra. Schwing. Libra here is thinking about an opportunity here to be with you. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Oh, they think you're very attractive. Aquarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. I feel a strong connection to you. Uh, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Boy. Wake me up before you, Virgo. Okay. Okay, you make Virgo happy. And happy to Capity, how do you feel about Pisces, Cap Cap? Come on, top to bottom, Capity, how do you feel about Pisces, Cap Cap? Cappy Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces, Capricorn? Capity Capity, happy Capity, Capity Capity Capity, how do you feel about Pisces? Oh, they're in love, Pisces. They're in love. And I'm in love with you, too. So, Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your